Okay, good evening. Uh, tonight, uh, we have another dangerous pepper. A regular, huge, nice, delicious red Trinidad Scorpion. Uh, Judy sent me this. Thank you, Judy. Uh, looks nice and mean. Looks absolutely huge. You know, they talk about the butch tea being hotter. Um, but I just can't imagine if I were to eat this whole thing that uh, it wouldn't be hotter than the butch tea. It's just so much bigger. Uh, butch tea is probably one-fourth of this. Um, I don't have anything to compare the size to, but, you know, it's, it's big. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm probably eat like a quarter of this, maybe half. We'll see, uh, depending on how good it tastes. Okay, so let's cut it open and uh, give it a try. The uh, butch tea was absolutely delicious. Um, I love the flavor of it, and uh, one of my favorite surf flavor. It was very, very nicely balanced and uh, just delicious. So. Oh, getting a little bit of aroma. Um, this one, kind of a fruityish, flowery flavor. You can see right there. Down here. And I tried to record, trying to record this in HD, and uh, last night the video camera didn't work, and so I've just been having a terrible time figuring out how to use anything other than the, the regular upload. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Uh, smells very fresh. It actually has almost no odor. When I first cut it open I got some fruity scent to it, but smelling it, it just smells like it's almost like lettuce. It's uh, just a very fresh smelling. I don't smell any uh, capsicum. Uh, it's weird. It actually smells reasonable. Uh, if you can look real close inside, you can see all the placenta on the walls. Um, it doesn't look as thick as, say, a... I can actually see some red through the placenta. Um, it doesn't look as thick as, say, a... Well, as the butch tea, that was like a you know, smeared on double layer of stucco. Uh, so, okay. Anyway, let me... Pull out these seeds here, which I don't want to eat. Uh oh, I got some on the table. Not good. Um, okay. Okay. So, there's a nice half there. Um, and like I said, I think I'm going to. Ooh, I got all over me. So, what I'm going to be forced to do is use. To handle the, the knife with a napkin here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in a quarter here. I said I want to want to live um, to review another pepper tomorrow, so let's get to work here. Now, as you can see, this has a boatload of placenta and stuff. Uh, you can see the lines in there. I don't know if you can see that, um, but. This is going to be, so this alone is uh, bigger than a, than a uh, butch tea. Okay, so we're already at four minutes, so let's go ahead and get started here. Ooh, very juicy. Moist. I can see the placenta goes all the way to the tip, so someone just trying it from the tip, it's still going to be super hot. Mm. Um, good flavor. Um, I still like the butch tea. The first taste of the butch tea was better. Now, um, comparing this to, it's almost like it smelled. It doesn't have a, a lot of flavor. I think the uh, butch tea actually had more flavor. Very juicy. Very, very juicy. I like it. The texture is great. Um, very velvety. Um, it's like one of the ones that uh, Jacob sent me, one of his crosses. 
just very velvety, very, just feels good chewing it up, soft and velvety. Mm. Flavor, you know, it's actually really good. Um, it's just kind of doesn't have a potty flavor. It doesn't make you taste. Doesn't taste like a vegetable. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's just kind of, kind of like a, a hint of fruit and just tasty. Kind of a neutral. And the texture's great. So far, it's letting me chew it up without having the heat hit. Flavor's really intriguing. It's really growing on me. Depending on how the heat is, this could definitely be snackable or be a, a favorite. Okay, last piece here. Okay. <coughs> Only a quarter. This thing was huge. Um, so I do feel kind of like a wuss for only eating a quarter, but let's have doing this for flavor, not for glory. Um, not that other guys who eat the whole thing, Ed. I wish I could eat the whole thing, put it that way. If I could if I, if I, I could sleep tonight knowing I could eat the whole thing, I would do it, but. Mm -mm. Okay. In fact, right now, Ed's probably doing the yellow seven and he's eating a whole one. I ate about a a third of that one and it just leveled me. So I can't imagine what he's going through right now eating the whole thing. Um, mouth is starting to to go off a little bit. I feel that some little bits. It's a nice tingle throughout the mouth. Nothing uncomfortable yet. Sides of the tongue. It seems like that always gets hit quite a bit. That's a real favorite place for the capsicum. Um, back of the throat. Top back of the throat starting to tickle a little bit. Getting some drool. It's actually really tasty. I'm quite impressed. We have one more little taste here. Just to get one last flavor. It's very, just a juice comes out. Hmm. I like it. Definitely. It's kind of a neutral. Ooh, taking a little bite like that after the mouth has already been set on fire. Really just activates. Um, got a good, nice solid burn. Good tingle. Um, top back of the throat. It's a little bit of a, kind of a minor blowtorch. Nothing like a seven blowtorch. Maybe some sandpaper going on. The drool. I'd say like a three quarter drool. Got a flush of heat. See that? Butch tea is definitely hotter. I'm, I take back my words. It's amazing how that little pepper can pack so much heat, but I had a half of that. Noticeably hotter than than this and I ate and like I said this quarter is easily three-fourths of the whole butch Maybe two-thirds Getting some good drool Nothing overly uncomfortable. Just a nice good burn. I really like this um, Fantastic Neutral flavor with a hint of fruit. 
no fruit in particular. Um, just fruity. Got some uh, takeoff one above here. <coughs> Stomach to this point is okay. Um, not like that butch, man. I could feel that butch right about 10 minutes. Boom, it hit. Very impressed. I really like this. This is definitely going to be on the grow list for next year. Um, whereas the yellow uh, had a decent burn, but wasn't didn't to me seem like a super hot. The flavor wasn't good enough that I was I was uh, inclined to want to grow it next year. But this one, it really is just it's kind of unique. It's just a I don't know. It's just it's nice. I keep on. I want to nibble on it some more. Um, really tasty and uh, I'm impressed with these scorpions um, I've been collecting a bunch of seven pods but now I think I have to go back and, and try and find some scorpions before the end of the year or for next year because pretty much the scorpions are batting uh, or at least the red scorpions are 2-0 and oh. so okay I think I'm running out of time here so thanks for uh, watching great pepper read See, look at my uh, written review. Thanks again, Judy. Bye-bye.